Well, we just talked about the need for workers in the manufacturing industry, and the same is true these days in construction, where builders are looking to hire like mad to meet demand for new homes, apartments, and other buildings. All signs point to a very big year in construction, but as Diana Olick reports, there's a major obstacle standing in the way. Call it the year of the crane. Both commercial and residential construction are set to soar this year, and the hiring and spending has already begun. Even in December, with much of the nation frozen, the construction industry added 30,000 jobs, according to the Labor Department. For all of 2017, construction added 210,000 jobs, a 35% increase over 2016. Construction spending is also soaring, rising more than expected in November to a record $1.26 trillion, according to the Commerce Department. Spending increased across all sectors of real estate, commercial and residential, with particular strength in private construction projects. Even contractor optimism is up, to the highest on record. Three quarters of construction firms said they will hire more workers this year. That according to the Associated General Contractors 2018 Outlook Survey. The only trouble will be finding those workers. There's a severe shortage of skilled construction labor for buildings, infrastructure, and especially for residential housing. This as demand for housing heats up, supply sits at record lows, and builders are cash strapped. The cost of construction going up very rapidly because of the repairs and the shortage of supply in the single family market. So I think those pressures are going to come through when you are going to see some wage gains, minimum wage gains, as well as some wage gains because of acute labor shortages. Expect those gains to be passed on to buyers in ever higher home prices. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Diana Olick in Washington.